Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody is uh, up and at it this morning. Uh, I am Grace Amber. I am doing a series on YouTube and the title of it is Daily Bread. Because we're living in a time where Christians are actually buying into these readings from people. Like Christians are, are, are desperate and eager for a word. And then God gave us this Bible that's got all this stuff in it. And it's a million words in this Bible, but we won't crack it open. But we'll go pay $35 for a 15-minute reading from some stranger. As Christians, we don't do that. If we need a word, we go to the word, right? So this morning, uh, I came to bring you all some daily bread. Uh, turning your Bibles with me to Colossians, uh, the third chapter. And I'm going to read from the 22nd verse all the way down to the 25th verse. And I'm reading from, this is the NIV, and it reads, Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and do it, not only when their eye is on you and to win their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for his wrong, and there is no favoritism. I'm going to spin that back one more time. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and do it not only when their eye is on you to win their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for his wrong, and there is no favoritism. What's the word for today? The word for today is that no, uh, them slavery days is over. We are not slaves anymore. That's over, okay? That's out. Uh, but most of us do hold jobs, right? And so when it's saying slaves obey your earthly masters in everything, take that and translate it into today and what we're doing. And as we hold jobs, we all have bosses, okay? Even if you are your own boss, right? You still got a boss. Everybody has a boss, right? And what this scripture is telling you that in whatever it is that you're doing, do it not only when your boss is looking at you to win their favor, but do it with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord, right? Whatever you do, Work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Whatever job God has blessed you to have, whatever your job is, whether you are working uh, as a janitor, whether you scrubbing toilets, whether you the street sweeper, uh, whatever your job is, if you greeting people at Walmart, if you working in a convenience store, if you got your own business, wherever God has placed you, this word right here is telling you to do it and serve and work as if you are serving the Lord, because in actuality, you are serving the Lord. God has you in whatever position you are in. He has you there for a reason. Whatever that position may be, whatever God has you doing, whatever your job is, whatever your workplace is, you should go in there today and you should go in there every day and serve as if you're serving God because you are serving God, right? And you should do that right? With all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, because you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Don't go in these jobs with bad attitudes. Don't go in these jobs with the mentality that they're not paying you enough because yes, they're giving you cash here on earth, right? But in the kingdom, in God's eyesight, he's uh, looking at you and he's looking at your work ethic. He's looking at how you're treating people. He's looking at the people who lives that you can touch on an everyday basis and you're going in there with a bad attitude. That's not how you get blessed. God is telling us to do whatever it is that he has given us to do. We should do it with a good attitude and we should do it as though we are serving him because we are. I love y'all. I hope this daily bread has blessed you today. If you got something from this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because every week I'm going to be coming on posting new videos. We don't go for readings. We don't go paying people for readings. God gave us everything that we need as children of God right here in his word. We don't pay people to do readings and read cards. We as children of God, we don't do that. If we need a word, we go to the word. So if you need a word, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to come up here and make it my business every week to come and give you some revelation from the word as God gives it to me. I love y'all. I'm Grace Amber. 
Have a wonderful day and serve as if you are serving the Lord because he sees what you're doing and your reward will come from here, from him. It's not from that paycheck. That paycheck is nice, but as fast as it comes, as fast as it's going to go, okay? Serve in your job, whatever your position is, serve as if you're serving the Lord because he is the one who is watching you. He is the one that is sitting high and looking low, and he is going to reward you for what you're doing. I love y'all. I'm Grace Amber. Till next time.